some of the some of the problems that you have um, especially worked in within the trust and safety and probably tell talk us about a couple of projects that you've done where data science have helped actually answer some of the problems in that in the trust and safety domain in a broader level i think uh, one of the biggest issues that any company probably faces is payment fraud the payment is done using a stolen device probably a stolen credit card or maybe payment made through a credit card that does not function anymore the company is already i mean technically it shows that it's been paid but when a credit card technically pays later right so that's one of the biggest issues that people face if someone has to complain oh my credit card got stolen that's almost a little later effect so that's not a problem solving that you can do on the spot it's only when a concern is raised to you so payment fraud is one of the biggest issues uh, that like trust and safety faces the other is account takeover which is essentially hijacking and you know taking over your account writing fake posts from it or doing some sort of fake activities from it so that's that comes under account takeover and uh, that's generally an issue it's a very big issue when it is done to corporate client so for example there's a big corporate and their account is taken over so imagine if their account for any of these um, advertisement business over say Facebook or Google is taken over so that's like a lot of money out there and a lot of things that can go wrong then there is malwarezing which is mostly that uh, when you click on a link a malware will download on your system and then god knows what can happen after that so that's like the step one the other that i mentioned was fake news which is uh, being tackled day in and day out at this point of time and uh, since uh, fake news is a if you understand it's like a lot of words put together right eventually it's news so understanding how you can uh, make sure fake news does not go it's there are two issues for fake news right the two uh, fake news does not go out there and then it doesn't spread so both of these need to be tackled simultaneously and then you have other ones such as phishing wherein probably you've been sent an email that says oh you know you got a lottery of say 100000 rupees and so on and so forth actually there's a bit wider variety of that and you get a lot of smss for it you uh, can get an email for it or you can even just go to a you can just go to any page on the internet and still be you know a target of this these are the broad category in different domains if you see like fake news is content account takeover is probably in terms of like an account payment fraud is in terms of monetary so as the product as big as the product the more domains it will have to you know penetrate to and cause a lot of issues to the user so the variety is wide out there and every day the technology is improving the fraudsters are also getting better at their work and making things complicated for the users i think google is such a huge product that it has multiple verticals and each of these problems is very very applicable to at least one of the google products but let's say if somebody is working in the in the fintech industry the payment fraud or the account takeover might be more relevant rather than fake news or phishing or or the 